I got a feeling we're not in Brooklyn no more. They're brothers. They're plumbers. Oh no! Luigi! They're on the trail of a kidnapped princess and a mystical meteorite. It's incredible! That gives anyone who possesses it the power to rule the universe. Get me the rock! Come and get it, lizard breath! They must rescue the princess. Luigi! Alien species escaping. And make it safely back. Later, alligator. To our world. Are you, Are you all right? Before time runs out. Shoot him! Super Mario Brothers. This ain't no game. Hello, everybody, and welcome to this very special episode of Ball Buster Video. Uh, yes. I've been dreading this one for a long time. We can thank Richard Peruca for this request. God damn it. I don't even know you, Richard, but... <laughs> Please don't request yeah. the movie like this again. Rick, I'm so glad you made it through the Baltimore riots in one piece so that you could post. <laughs> oh, it's that guy. Yeah, it's that guy. He, the, the, the guy, guy who called me stupid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <That was awful>. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so he, he recommended this, and this movie absolutely stinks. It's We're super... talking about none other than Super Mario Brothers, yeah. the movie. Mario Brothers. Mario yeah. Brothers. That's right. Luigi Mario and Mario Mario. <laughs> yeah, I, I, recall that. I recall that scene. I'm... That's a brilliant piece of writing right there. Yeah, okay, <laughs> all right. <laughs> it's, uh... Where do I begin with this? First off, it's... When you make a movie that the actors, before his, you know, death... Bob Hoskins, when they asked him, is there any movie that you didn't enjoy making? He called Super Mario Brothers a piece of shit. Yeah. J John Leguizamo does the same. This is a movie that they were trying to get made in 1989, and it went for well, it, four years in like this whole weird purgatory place. Yeah. Well, right from the bat, this movie gets everything wrong. Yeah. It's like, I, I can understand, like, when you, like, some of these Marvel movies, even, it's just like, it's not the exact storyline, but for fuck's sakes, when you write it that Mario raised Luigi as his son. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then they just like, well, we're just going to have a father-son plumbing business together. And Luigi is the one who gets the princess, not Mario, because Mario is dating an Italian hooker. So. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> so. They well, go and like, if her, Daisy was in their world. Yeah. And got sucked over to there. And then she's like, oh, I Apparently, I'm the princess over yeah. here. I'm like, what? Yeah. <laughs> and her father is a big hanging testicle from <laughs> from <laughs> booger smeared yeah. testicle. <laughs> yeah, it looked like a, it looked like a scrotum sack covered in duck butter hanging off the wall. <laughs> <laughs> duck butter. <laughs> Go to Urban Dictionary and look up duck butter. I will not. <laughs> I've learned too many things from you that I never want to know of ever again. But it's but yeah, they fucked that up. Like they call it Mario Brothers, and it's more like Mario Dad, yeah. <laughs> like Dad and Son. No, they clearly never. Yeah, but weren't they like, were, like in the movie? Weren't they? Were they like? You know, they were pretty close, supposedly close in age. Like, did I miss something? No, uh, no, they were Matt's, far. That's yeah. right. It's uh, it was father and son. He raised him. Yeah, Bob he's Hoskins like, but we look that old. He looks pretty old in the movie. <laughs> and John Leguizamo looks a lot younger. And than the way they wrote it away is that he's like, mm -hmm. he raised me. He's, he's like my dad, but we're so close. We're like brothers. So yeah. that's how they like made. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's. Boy, I, <laughs> and they I must say have this, been really young when I seen this. Yeah. You probably were. <laughs> this all comes Dear out God. at at, di at uh, dinner where uh, Mario is sitting there with his, with his Italian hooker girlfriend, <laughs> who is like. <laughs> yeah, and and Luigi's with the soon to be princess. <laughs> yeah, soon to be princess <laughs> Toadstool. Toad, yeah, yeah. yeah, Peach or Toadstool, whichever you want to call they it. They call her Daisy in this. Yeah, Daisy, Princess Daisy. Which is funny because in the Mario world there is a Daisy and. It's 
not the princess. <laughs> yeah. But anyone, they clearly never played the video games at all. Anyone who's played the video games can tell you that, you know, the worlds that you go through are like these colorful outside worlds. And yeah. They, they go to this, in the movie, they go to like the, the, the you know. They go to Blade Kingdom. Runner. Yeah. Blade, <laughs> and it looks like what the, it looks like what the gallery of mall looks like now. There's like fungus <laughs> growing in abandoned stores everywhere. And <laughs> People just in cages on top of yeah. cages. Yeah. There's a rabbit transit bus dropping off like these fucking miscreants in front of the mall. That's that is a uh, that's what this world looks like. There's they're not outside. Um because what? It's uh um, it's supposed to be like when the asteroid hit the earth that killed the dinosaurs and split them into two different dimensions. Yes. Am I correct? In yes. This? Yeah. <laughs> remembering at least this. Yeah, yeah. that's... Since I that's can't remember the, the age gap between... That's the it. plot of the movie, if, yeah. you, if you'll give it that. And then the dinosaurs evolved into people as well. And yes. the, the <laughs> Koopa... The, the supposed Koopa troopers look nothing like Koopa troopers. They're just... They got, like, snake heads and big, yeah, big the, shoulders. It's too. clearly, like, six foot five tall people uh, inside a trench coat um, with a small, like, shrunken dinosaur man head <laughs> holding it up, <laughs> like, yeah. inside the coat. And King I Koopa, just picture how this, <laughs> played yeah, by just how Dennis Hopper. Poor Dennis Hopper. This is the movie that killed him. I honestly, like, <laughs> it wasn't Waterworld, it was this movie. <laughs> yeah, he, uh, I mean, I think Dennis Hopper, the last 20 years of his life, is just trying to, he didn't care. He might have needed, like, a new hot water heater or something. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's what I was saying. And he was kind of pulling, like, a, a, a De Niro at that time. He was just taking anything that came across his desk. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah, but you know what though? In paper, when if somebody came to you, if Dre came to you and said, there, "There's a popular video game franchise that this will be the first video game movie ever made. You're going to work with Bob Hoskins, and you're thinking, you know, somewhere in your mind, you might think, well, oh, maybe this is a good idea.' And then you say yes, perhaps, and then they mail you the script, and you're like, was say, perhaps, "Shit!" Yeah, perhaps he, he, took, he, he didn't read the script. No, I think and he just what, took the advice of others. I think he read the script and said, "How much are they willing to pay me?" And they said this amount. He said, "All right, fine." Whatever. I can be bought. <laughs> yeah. I, I can I, be bought. I mean, I'd star in Super Mario Brothers if they're like, here's a... I mean, shit, they could offer me $50,000. I'd be like, I'm there. So, the, the <laughs> Super Mario Brothers 2. Yeah. The two main things that infuriate me about this movie... I mean, there's a laundry list of things that infuriate me about this movie, but the first one is, and it's infamous, the whole, like, what are their last names? Yeah. And it's Mario, Mario, Luigi, Mario. Yeah. Like, that whole court scene. And I'm like, really? It's like you're trying to, they tried to relight, like, that Abbott and Costello, like, who's on first base kind of thing. Yeah. And it was just terrible. So, that got to me, and the whole, um, running pizza gag <laughs> throughout the whole movie, like, Koopa's just trying to order a pizza the whole movie, and it runs from the beginning when you first see him to the very end, because they're, like, fighting him and they're about to kill him, and it's like, your pizza's here, sir! Yeah. <laughs> it's like, get out of here! God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Did you get the dad in? Did you get my pizza? <laughs> it's it's going to be a staple. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's... It's bad. It is really. I mean, there's nothing besides the names of the characters. There's nothing from the video games. Well, and there's no bombs think, in it. Yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah, but, yeah but they, even they screwed Bob bombs up. Yeah, you know they what did. I mean? It, uh, yeah. It's just I, as far as I can remember, I don't remember there being any redeeming factors that I can remember at all. No. It's it, like I said. It apparently went through production hell. It took them like four years to get this movie done, uh, and there were constantly it, it shows. rights. It shows. And, uh, it, it's really, really. And still bad. to this day, I don't understand why they needed to get those fucking rocket boots at all. Like, I guess because, you know, in, in the video game, how they hop, you can jump on stuff's head. You got me. Yeah, you know, they hopped, but they, they floated in it. Like. And they quickly, you get, at this point in time, is when the Super Nintendo version of, uh, Mario was coming right. out, and they crammed Yoshi into it. They yeah. tried to, they crammed Yoshi into it, and Yoshi just looks like a miniature, really shitty CGI. It was, it was of like, Velociraptor. it was like the, yeah, it was like <laughs> Steven Spielberg's test model animatronic for the Raptor. <laughs> yeah. He's like, well, we fucked that up. And like, yeah. hey, we need a Yoshi. Like, take it, get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want it. <laughs> or they sent John Leguizamo over, over to their set while they were filming Jurassic Park. He just stole Taylor. it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it. It's really, it's, it's really bad. And like I said, it turns out they try to do something like Total Recall. Remember Total Recall where, What's the alien? I forget the alien thing. Quado? Quado, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Quado. 
<laughs> Quato, where Quato is like, my head. yeah, where, where Arnold Schwarzenegger is looking for Quato, and the guy like unbuttons his shirt and mm-hmm. like opens his shirt up, and there's Quato, and he's like Quade, like <laughs> on like his body, and he's controlling everything, and and they try to do like a total recall thing like that, where the there's like this mushroom fungus controlling everything. Mm-hmm. And then they find out that, you know, it's, uh, um, the princess's father and that, uh, um, King Cooper had transformed it from being a human being all the way down in evolutionary steps to like fungus. Yeah. To the point where it's just a big mushroom testicle hanging off the <laughs> ceiling, drooping down. All right. Yeah. And then when they first, when they, when Luigi and Peach get there and she's like, this is my father. And he's like, well, it's, I'm pleased to meet you. It's not, yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. make your acquaintance. It's an honor. It's like, shut the fuck yeah. up. And it's like hanging, just hanging there like a fucking, you know, yeah. like a testicle. Just hanging, <laughs> hanging off the. Did they also the, have like the Nintendo blasters? Were they like, yeah, that was, at, that was yeah. at the end when they were fighting, when, when Koopa finally turns into some kind of creature. And, Cause yeah. he's supposed I to be a supposed, lizard, but it was supposed to be a dinosaur. <laughs> yeah, it was supposed to be a t- T-Rex. Well, yeah, he, yeah he's, he's supposed to, he's a fucking like, turtle lizard thing in the games and yeah. he's just a fucking T-Rex a cartoony looking T-Rex yeah. for three seconds yeah he comes up out of that like they kick him into that dirt that bucket full yeah. of dirt it's sort of like you can tell it's like a, like a really and they just have like they, yeah they just have the Super Nintendo blaster there yeah. just like yeah and blast them down it's you're right they did they, they added the most stupid shit to this movie. Uh, yeah. Like, like the bullets, the, the bullets that fly across the screen in the game were what powered those, those boots that made them fly yeah, in the yeah. air. Yeah, bullet bills. Yeah, but... <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know. Like, they might have been doing some type of illicit drug before they wrote this script. And the, it looks like it when you look at the movie. And the fat black woman wants to have sex with, uh, with uh, Mario. Yeah. Remember that? Oh, she, yeah. Yeah, he had to, like, get that crystal out of her tits. Yeah. <laughs> and then she, like, like kisses him and stuff. But, like, that one scene... For the kids, old, you know? Yeah. The one scene with the old woman, she's like, she's like, you should be careful. Do you have any weapons? And they're like, no, we don't have any weapons. Oh, well, that's good. Give me all your fucking money! She pulls out a gun. <laughs> oh, yeah, she's like, give me all your money! <laughs> yeah, it's it's ridiculous. The whole movie is ridiculous. Oh, and I also love that, that guy who's just, like, the bum on the street. He's like, Koopa's the worst. He's, get, he's taking us all over. And then the cops come and they're like, get in here, you bum. And he's like, hey, you can't do that to him. He has freedom of speech. It's like, they throw Mario in the car and too. And they're like, shut up and get your fat ass in the car. Yeah. It's, it's, and then like, I think Luigi just gets in the car because yeah. he's like, that's my brother. He's like, yeah, that's my father brother. That's, yeah. my, that's my dad bra. Yeah. It's, it's <laughs> terrible. They, and they thought it was going to be a success because Jurassic Park just come out and they had all this, do- these, so they crammed it full of all these dinosaurs, dinosaurs, essentially. Yeah. There's no outside worlds like there are in Mario whatsoever. There's no, like, you know, like little mushroom people. I'm not, a, I'm not a big video, like Mario video game guy, but I could tell you right from the get go that they followed nothing. Well, yeah. I can tell you King Koopa doesn't live in the top of a, like, skyscraper. He doesn't have the technology to de evolve human beings in the, Mindless dinosaurs. Yeah. <laughs> and Koopa like, wasn't involved enough to be a human being with a bad hairdo. Yeah. yeah. He stole the fucking hairdo from Dracula. Yeah. <laughs> Bram Stoker. He looks, like, he looks like the lead singer of uh, Prodigy. Yes! <laughs> yes, hair. that's perfect! Yeah. Well, I, wish, I wish somebody would do a re edit of that movie and every time there's a Koopa scene, it's like, BOW! Smack my bitch up comes on. Yeah. Like a Prodigy song plays in the background. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really bad. This, this one's up there with one of the worst we've. Like, I still, like, after this movie, like, Hopper had nothing good going on. Like, well, he this... did Speed. He, Speed came out after this. Did it come out after? 95 was Speed. Okay, uh... well, okay. It still was a very big stain on his career. Yeah, this but one like, was 93, 94. Hopkins pulled out very well after this. <laughs> And somehow, Wigginsamo still had work after this. Oh, oh, <laughs> was, Spawn, to... was Spawn after this or before this? After. God, that's too stupid. That's ninety seven, dude. That's oh, ninety seven. You know, when I was and and I wrote about this on my blog too about Spawn. Like when I saw it when I was a kid, I was okay with it because I was just like, yeah, it's Spawn. I love this character. And like rewatching it as an adult, I'm like, Wigginsamo is the worst thing ever. Like. 
His portrayal of that clown was just fucking terrible. Everybody's portrayal of everything in that was terrible. Oh, yeah. Martin Sheen, jeez. <laughs> John White did, like, I, I don't know. I don't know, like, he's a good action star, but, like, he just, I don't know. I'm trying to take a look. It's yeah, just... Martin Sheen, I for, yeah, he was in that. He's yeah. just like, I'm just going to be evil, right? That's, that's all I got to do, right? <laughs> <laughs> Like, yes, Mr. Sheen. <laughs> it's like, hey, we gotta hurry this up. Me and Charlie got some hookers to fuck. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, this, mo- this movie's bad. This is up there. I don't get why they can't make a good video game movie. There really hasn't been... As far as I'm concerned, Silent Hill was the only one that was decent. And then they sm- then they fucked it all over with Revelations. Yeah, we saw that. <laughs> yeah, Matt, Matt and I saw that. That was terrible. <laughs> I saw... Well, I mean, Mortal Kombat, I guess, would be the best... Yeah, the original Mortal Kombat Mortal was the best. Pretty good. Yeah, that was okay. Yeah, and that's not great at all. That's well, I, see, that's only good because the second one they made was absolutely horrible, and then Street Fighter was even worse. Yeah, well, so Street that's Fighter why that John Claude Van Damme. Yeah, don't give anyone any ideas whatsoever. <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> sorry, <laughs> was Raj was Raj Ghoul or what's his name? Raj Ghoul. <laughs> <laughs> what's his name? <laughs> I gotta come Raul down. Raw yeah, Julia. Raw Julia. Raw Julia. Close enough. <laughs> Poor Raw Julia. Yeah, that was his last movie. That was before his last died. movie. Did it for his kids. Yeah. Those selfish bastards. Yeah. <laughs> but what? I mean, they did Super Mario Brothers and then Mortal Kombat.